Hey guys, it's Ryan with My Listing Club. This is going to be another My Listing Q&A video to answer a question that just came into the community, which is to say, is there a way to have two sets of tags within the same listing type? For example, have some general tags that can then be in the search as standalone and then some specific tags that can sit separately in the search would avoid just a huge list of tags and amenities and make it more unique to the website in question. Okay, I'm not entirely sure I understand the point of this, but uh, let me see if I can uh, try to help with how I would, would set this up on the advanced search page. Uh, I'm not sure if that's what the uh, original poster was going for or what, but anyway, I'll take a stab at it. Um, so. Here we are on the My Listing Club Sandbox site, and if we go to the Explore page, um, before the video I loaded up a bunch of tags to kind of simulate what the uh, James in this case had, had posted, and um, which is a lot of tags and maybe the need to separate the tags out, uh, I think. And so it's just not, not like a long list of tags down the page. So as you can see, I've got uh, a number of these loaded, so 20 tags. So one thing you can do right off the bat is on your, within your listing type, if you're configuring your advanced search form, let's say you add tags like I have here, one of the options is to limit the number of um, tags that are shown or any terms that you have on for your particular site um, hide them if they're empty so in this case i've got them showing even if there are no listings that are actually using these so here we see on the front end all of these tags are going to show regardless if a listing matches so if i click on 18 tag 18 i know there are no listings that match that um, i've only got tags one two three and four populated okay so Right away, you might not have to do any extra work other than uh, to, to tick that box and refresh your Explore page. And then that's a way to keep your advanced search filters um, to a minimum and keep, and keep the area clean. And another side benefit, a huge benefit to that, is that you don't give any false, uh, you're not going to present any false searches for people, meaning they click on a tag that, doesn't even exist on your website within any listing, you don't want to return um, that there are no listings that match. You only want to give them the opportunities to return actual results. So maybe that answers your question, James, just right there. Um, as, but let's say it doesn't and you want to add another set of tags or terms, okay? So for that, it depends on a couple of things. So you can jump right back into your listing type under fields and you can just add a select field or a multi-select field, check boxes or radio buttons. You can do one of those four fields, but you'll notice when you edit those fields, you're given a, an option to add the options right to the field. Now, this is, this is just fine if you have, I, I don't know what the exact number is, you'd have to ask um, either the my listing, official my listing developers or someone that's a, a developer um, just in general um, about this sort of thing as far as how many terms um, can you add before it starts to be an issue. I'm not sure what that official amount is, but let's just say it's, you know, it's 15 or 20, all right? You want to just top out at 20. So you can go in here and add tag A, tag B, and so on and so forth until you get, if I knew how to type, uh, tag B, tag C, and so on and so forth until you go down uh, to 20. And that shouldn't be a problem performance-wise, especially if you're on good hosting. Uh, should not be a problem. But if you just want to be sure right off the bat, you can just not use these at all. And instead, we'll go ahead and save our changes there. Instead, under listings, taxonomies, just just be on the safe side right away to, to start with and just create a, a custom taxonomy. These 
These are more uh, performance optimized ways of searching and filtering um, than the other way right off the bat. So this is more of a long-term sustainable solution. So if you just err on the side of creating a custom taxonomy each time, um, you'll be better off. So just jump over there into listings, taxonomies, add a taxonomy. We'll call this um, new tags or something like that for your second set of tags. And we'll save those changes, jump back to the listing type. And I don't think it'll be there without a refresh. Yeah, let's do a refresh. And go back to our fields. And here we see on the right hand side under preset fields, we've now got our new tags field. So let's just click on that to add it in or you can yeah, just click on that to drag it in and name this whatever you want. Just, we'll just keep it at new tags. We'll make it checkbox again, and that looks good. So right off the bat, this is now pulling from the the custom taxonomy. So um, there's nothing you need to do in terms of you know clicking in here, adding the field, and then setting all this up again. So um, so that so we've got the field set. Now we jump over. Uh, if you want to add it into your single page, of course, then content and tabs. Go into your tab and then add your new term. So new tags, like so. And then jump over to the search forms, add them to whatever forms you want to add them to. So in this case, uh, we'll just do the advanced, advanced form. Uh, so again, we're going to do check boxes for this one. Drag it up under the original tag term. We're going to call this again, new tags. We're going to use the field custom taxonomy. So you see here how my listing labels this best performance. So we're going to choose that. And we'll just do it by name and ascending. And again, we'll do the hide empty. Uh, actually, in this case, we won't do hide empty just so I can show you what we, because we don't have any listings right now that have that. So I just want to be able to show you. So let's update that. Refresh our explore page. So oh, we actually, yeah, I missed a, a step. So you'll see here our new tags has no, there's no options because I haven't added the actual um, terms yet. So if we jump back to, uh, we go into our actual custom taxonomy, which is, where is it at? There we go, new tags. I just had to do a refresh. So we go into new tags, um, new tag one. New tag two. Okay, so now if we refresh our explore page, those four tags should be there. Okay, there we go. So just like that, you've got another set of, of tags that you can use there um, to kind of break things up on your, your form. So again, uh, James and everybody else out there, I'm not sure if this act answers exactly what you're trying to do. But um, if it doesn't, just let me know in the comment section uh, if you have any questions or if I missed something. All right. Thank you.